Hey guys, welcome to my new video. So today we're gonna see some hidden features that you can find on pretty much every Mac. And here I have, of course, my MacBook Pro. This is the late 2020 version. So the one with the M1 chip. And I have for you some very interesting feature that you can find on your Mac. But before that, let's roll the intro. <laughs> So the first feature that I want to tell you is the app switcher. And if you are not familiar with that, it is something like, I don't know if you ever used uh, probably Windows. This is most of the cases probably. And in Windows, you can switch up very fast by pressing like Alt and Tab. In macOS, you can do pretty much the same thing. But here you will use the Command and, and Tab, of course, when I press and hold command and tab, you can see this screen. This is the switcher, the app switcher. And you can go from an app to another very, very quickly like this. So a very quick way to switch applications. And also the second hidden feature, and this one you probably knew it before I show you, but you probably don't know this other feature that you can do with the app switcher. And it is closing the app very quickly from this menu. So you still click and hold command and tab. So to switch apps. And when you over on a app like this, you can see this is on Finder, this is on Notion, this is on Google Chrome. You just hold it and then you just press Q and it closes. So it closed the application in a very quick way. If you don't want to go like in the dock, just right click in the dock and close the app or maybe just pressing uh, command and Q with the app open, you can close it also by this menu. Then another very, very important feature on the Mac. This is not very much hidden, we can say, but it is one of the key function on, um, on Mac OS. And this is the spotlight feature. So you just press command and space. You already see spotlight search and you can do pretty much anything on spotlight. They have updated uh, spotlight at the best. So you can do like math, for example. So you can see the results of three times three, for example, or maybe you can do also like this. It still cal calculates uh, the results. So very, very intelligent. And also if you want to search like anything on the web, you can see I can write like a MacBook right now. It is searching in my folders, first of all, and then you can search it also on Google Chrome because I use Google Chrome and also um, Safari if you use that. Then if you write like Amazon, you can see that he searches directly on the Amazon. For example, you can search like uh, weather in every state, in every country. You just type weather and then the location or maybe you just type weather. He will find your exact location and tell you the weather and all the stuff like that. So if you have a Mac or maybe you are using Mac OS in general, just be sure to use Spotlight because it is very, very helpful. Then another tip is the show in Finder feature, we can say, and for everything that you have on the screen right here, or maybe a file that you have open, you just press an old command and then you click with the mouse one, we can say, so just one left click and the Mac will show the position of that file that you have clicked actually. So I've clicked on the Google Chrome application and so it does came up with the application folder, of course, and this is Google Chrome highlighted. So very useful if you are searching the file and you wanna go like through the folders and searching the specific file and all of that. So you lose a lot of time. So you just hold command, click with the mouse one and you will find uh, your file very, very quickly. Then another thing that you can do with files and folder and all of that, it is the preview. So when you select like a folder like this, for example, and you want to see like uh, some infos about the folder, maybe how much storage it is taking and stuff like that, you just select right here. So it is highlighted, highlighted. And so you press spacebar like this. And so you can see that inside this folder, there are like five items and this folders just weights almost 140 gigabytes. And so you can do that also with photos, for example. So you have, for example, I have this photo right here. So you just select the photo. So just one, one tap and then press space 
and there you have you have your preview very very fast and also you can do it with videos for example this video just hit spacebar and then the video starts playing then you just hit spacebar again and it just closes very very quickly this is a very useful feature if you don't want to open like every time the same files and see what's inside and stuff like that and also with this trackpad right here you can do that also without pressing the spacebar you just have to use like the force feedback and so i don't know maybe before it was called like 3d touch or stuff like that so you just click and you hear the first vibration in your trackpad then you press again and so you can see that the more i press and the more the images <laughs> is expanding so this is a very cool feature that is why this is uh, very cool on the MacBook. So you just have this trackpad that it is very, very cool. You see that the more I press and the more it opens. And if I press it until I hear the, the click and I can feel the click under my finger, the image just opens like that. So it is a very cool at alternative to the spacebar, of course. I found this one very, very useful. Then another thing that you can do with the uh, force feedback on the trackpad we can say if you have of course only uh, a newer version of the macbook i guess you can see the definitions and some insights of every word that you that you select so for example i can click on iphone right here i just click twice so the force feedback we can say and then it comes out this little window right here so this little pop-up that it is the dictionary you can see right here that it is Italian because keyboard layout, it is Italian. So it says the meaning of the word in Italian. But you can see right there that you have a little more of information about the word. And then you go, you can go on the Siri knowledge. Then you can go on Siri suggested website. So you can click right on the website right here and go directly to this website that it is, of course, apple.com. Then you can search in this example for uh, some iTunes songs <laughs> right here. And it is very, very useful. I use it very often when I'm not sure maybe if I'm typing correctly a word, for example. And so I just click it twice, we can say, and I can see if I have got the word correctly. Super, super useful feature in my opinion. So another very interesting feature, it is the ability to sign directly some uh, documents, for example and I don't have any documents right now at the moment on this MacBook, but I will show you with this uh, simple images that I have it right here. And so if before you had to go like in some online website, maybe to sign a document and stuff like that. So a very long process, you can do it just from here. You just go in tools, then you can go on annotate right here and then at the end, you will find signature right here, manage signature, you click it. And here you can just sign your, docu your documents right here on your trackpad. You just click to begin. You just draw your signature, for example. So very, very useful. It is like writing, as you can see. So very, very smooth. Or maybe if you want to do anything more professional, more accurate, we can say. You can go onto camera right here and then you can show your sign to the camera actually and then the camera will do the rest and then you will have your signature on the macbook already converted in png so very very useful if you have to sign like different documents in a day you will just find every time your signature saved on your macbook so very very useful then as you probably already know you have on the top right here the new control center and you have a lot of stuff right here very very handy and it's like your phone style if you have an iphone of course so very useful and very fast to reach every control in your mac i think that few people knows it is actually that you can drag and drop every of this icon right here for example if i want to get access to wi-fi of course you have it right here but uh if you want to access to Bluetooth, for example, and you don't have it on the top right here, so you just click it, you drag it and drop it on the on this bar right, right on the top, and you have your Bluetooth access here on the top. So very, very handy. And so you can do it also with the keyboard brightness, for example. So you just click it and you just um, 
slide to edit the brightness and so on with all the feature that you can see right there. Then another useful thing to check on your MacBook, it is the battery status because it is a, an important, a very important thing to check every now and then on your MacBook if you have a laptop like this. And especially if you bought, for example, an, a used MacBook or maybe you are using your MacBook since like few years and so the battery, of course, will not remain the same in every year and so you just click on the battery right there so you go on battery preferences and then you can see down there there is a button that you can click it says battery health very very simple you click it and you can see your condition your battery condition for me of course it says battery condition normal and the maximum capacity it's still at 100 percent because it is pretty new so i don't have to worry too much for now about the battery but maybe in a few months or maybe here I have to check this number. Then the last feature that I want to show you right there and I don't know if you know that already but you can just quickly adjust and edit your dock, your dock size and your dock preferences. As you can see right there there is a little line. When you just go over it with your mouse you can see that it appears this double arrow and so if you click and drag you can just expand or maybe minimize your dock right here you can see that I can do it literally like very very small like this or maybe very very big and also if you just right click on this line right there you can see that you can turn the hiding on so if I click it it's gonna hide automatically you will have different preferences so the magnification that I have it on as you could see so the position on your screen and also the effect for the minimize feature and also you can go of course into the dock preferences of your settings so i do like a lot that you have this fast uh, preferences down there right on the dock because it is very fast to customize your dock so i love that and also if you didn't know that just remember that you can adjust it pretty much anytime you want and i think this was my last tip so for now that is pretty much it and i hope you liked this video and if you find it somewhat useful just hit a like button down below of course because it's free and also if you haven't subscribed already to this channel just don't forget to subscribe right now because i mean it's also free and i will give you some more tips and tricks on the macbook and also on other tech stuff as you can see on my channel so thank you for watching this video and of course thank you for your time and i will see you in my next one so bye for now